Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. So today I am doing two things. This is an order from my friend Jan. These you saw the other day when me and Don were doing the ornaments and I painted the inside with silver and then I changed my mind at the last time and grabbed a different mold so I didn't have to clean all that out. I'm just going to use it. So I thought what Jan wanted in her clock would also look good in an ornament. So we're going to go with it and get all that powder out with resin instead of me trying to clean it out and scratch my mold and all that. She wants the shell. She saw this on my Facebook group and she says, can you make me this? And I said, why, of course I can. So that's what we're going to do. It's pretty simple. We're just going to mix up some resin, fill it with shell. I'm sure I'll do something to these when I take them out. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything to this because she doesn't like a lot done to her stuff after it comes out of the mold, but we'll see what it looks like. I'll send her a picture and we'll go from there. So I've got plenty of shell here. I got bags and bags and bags of this because it was 40% off at Hobby Lobby. So 40% off at 321, 320. They were basically giving it to me. So I had to get every bag and every color on the shelf that day. That was a while back. So I don't know, you could check your store, but that was a couple months ago. So I'm going, this holds, I think, 10 ounces. These hold two each. So that's 14, but it's not going to take 14 with all of the shell. I may have to mix twice. I'm only going to do eight ounces. And I'm going to use my um, epoxy resin. And I don't even know that I need to get the bubbles out, but I don't know. We're going to play it by ear. So let me grab some resin. I think what I'm going to do so I don't have to really guess, I'm just going to take the shell and... It, although this doesn't need to be completely full because there really is no point to fill it all the way. I want enough in here that I can move it, but I think I'm going to put the shell into a large container and then add the resin to the container that way. But there's really no point in having to completely fill it up. So I'm thinking probably this whole bag is all that I'm going to need so I'm just going to put that into this large container. Careful not to scratch your mold. It takes a lot to scratch these kind, but I wouldn't do that in the handmade mold, that's for sure. And I'm just going to get it all in there. I'm going to dump the rest of the bag in there, and that should be enough for all of our projects and probably extra I'm sure I'll probably have extra. So I really don't know how much resin this is going to take because that's all I think I'm going to need. I don't think I got to open that bag. All right, now I'm going to get some resin. So I got all the resin mixed up, and as I'm standing here mixing it, realizing if I don't fill this with shell, you're gonna see the layers. I really don't want her to see layers, so I may open another package and mix up some more resin. I was just letting this drain so we don't waste a drop if we don't need to. So I'm still gonna, I'm gonna pour a little tiny thin coat on the bottom. So nothing is missing for the first layer. And just get it all around. Same thing with the ornaments. I'm just gonna pour a little layer and try to get it everywhere. Will we see bubbles? Nah, yeah, maybe, I'm not quite sure. I guess I could take a heat gun to this layer and get them out. Oops, I'm just spilling it over. I'm not even watching two of them at a time. <laughs> oh, what a mess already. I'm just starting, I'm already a mess. Now it's on underneath. All right, no biggie, right? Let's just get a stick and do the same thing. Actually, what I'm gonna do is get my heat gun and do that.
So pushing it around with the stick is making marks on my silver, which I did not want to happen. So I'm just gonna add more instead because the heat gun didn't want to push it over my powder that I have on here. So thank God the silver's the back. And you're not really gonna be paying a lot of attention to the backs. And I'm just gonna take the rest of this and pour it into here. And hopefully it will coat all of it. I don't want it swimming in there. I really want mostly shell and a little bit of resin, but not too little resin where it's not gonna hold the shell together. Probably gonna add more shell to that because it is a little soupy. Which I'm gonna need more anyway because I want to fill the clock up now. That looks pretty good right there. I may need more for these bulbs, I'm not quite sure. All right, let's pour. make sure they get into all the nooks and crannies. I think what I'm gonna do is just add um, no, I'm not. Let me do these bulbs first, and then I will pour the rest into this clock. These just need a really thin layer, really flat. Doesn't even matter if I'm going to have spaces between them. But you don't want them sticking out. So I can't like fill it like the clock I'm filling. But I do want to make sure these get done. And I'll mess around with that. So I might actually have a little extra after I'm done with the clock. We'll see. See these big fat ones need to come out. They're going to be coming up over that ledge. I'll mess around with that. So let me just take the rest of this shell. I'd rather just have shell and not as much resin. So I'm gonna to try to scoop the shell out without resin and fill up these little empty spots that just have resin. So I will have extras. What can I make with shell? That is the question. I just want the shell. Um. hit my heat gun to these bubbles back here. I will 
be messing around with these off camera just to get them all flat. You guys pretty much don't need to watch that. I'm sure it can be boring. I just am trying to fill up all these, just the corners have resin and no shell, so. And again, I'm trying to keep this level that it's all underneath. So take your stick and just make sure it's all under. And that's domed pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna mess around with this, find something to put this in, and see you on demold. Everything's ready to unmold, but before that, I got some packages in the mail. So this finally came. This is the Let's Resin Mold, and I do not know how to pronounce this little creature, but he's got those little feathery thingies on his head. I don't know how to, how, I don't, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because I'm not a reptile person, but this was adorable and it's so much bigger than I thought it was. So it's bigger than my hand. So we're gonna do this one quickly. Um, it's gonna be in my to-do list. I also got some mail from a new friend of mine called, her name is Casey, and she sent me a bunch of goodies. So these two bags are chocked full of pigments. You know those new pigments I got from Color Art, but you can't get them anymore because they went out of business? She had so many colors. I guess she was a an affiliate with them. So she has so many colors. She sent me so many little samples. I'm so excited to use these, although I know I'm going to love them. And I also know that I cannot get them. So unfortunately, that's the sad part. I wish I would have knew about them a long time ago because I do like their stuff. So thank you so much, Casey. She also sent me some other goodies in, in the package. So she sent me these little rub-ons, little gnomes for Christmas and fall, Halloween. What else do we got? Just some random ones. So they are super cute. I'm going to have to find something to put these on. My friend Jan, I know you're watching Jan and I bet your wheels are already turning because she loves gnomes. So she's probably going to want these on something. Of course, she sent some bling in the package. She sent these little things which look really cool. And it says champagne pearl, natural micro, mica minerals. And this was from Color Art as well. So I think these are going to look really neat in something, in lots of things. I don't know. We're going to play with those. Look at this huge package she sent me. Thank you so much. She also sent me some of these. I put them all in a bag. And... She made them somehow. I'm trying to get more details. But look at these colors in here. It looks like it was heat shrunk on some sort of a material. But she made me so many of them in so many colors. And I am so excited to put these in something. Look at these colors she came up with. Again, I'm not sure what the material is. I've never seen it before. Look at that one. So pretty, so pretty. The only thing is they're not like super flat, so I'm going to have to question how to get them in jewelry. I really want them to. We might have to use the deeper mold in the jewelry for these. But yeah, she, she sent so, so, so many of them. Look at all these in this bag. So Casey, thank you so much. You have been so nice lately. Um, she also got an X tool recently and is working out the details as well. So she is gonna be starting to have some fun there. And I will link, she has a, a YouTube channel. Um, she's starting to post a little bit more, she says. So I will link her YouTube channel in my description box if you wanna check her out. All right, let's see what we have. So this is my extras. I ended up mixing one more ounce just so I could dome everything and so all of my shells were underneath and I didn't have to UV top coat anything. Look at those. Resin makes abalone shell so much prettier underneath the resin than it is on top of the resin. I have just a tiny little bit of sanding to do on those edges and here's a turtle. So, so pretty. 
So those are my extras. I'm gonna figure out what to do with those. And then let's do the two, wow. So I still have silver on the back. I'm gonna have to clean. Okay, you can see all the shell marking on the back. No big deal, but I mean, there's not much of a reveal, but they are beautiful. I did put a little bit more resin because a couple pieces um, were sticking up, so I did cover everything. I'm going to finish these up somehow, put something on the front, and I will have to wash the mold out anyway, so my plan didn't completely work. I must have put too much mica powder in there, but I like the silver behind it. It looks really, really pretty. Silver and blue are classic colors. So those are those. I will clean that later. And here is the clock. And I will get it out, send a picture to Jan, and see if she will allow me to add some kind of a silver something unless it doesn't need anything, but when do I ever let anything go? Unless people tell me, don't do anything, then I don't do anything. And she's one of those ones who say that. So, look at how gorgeous that is. I don't see any bubbles at all. Not even one. And see how much better it is filled up. There's just that little tiny portion on the back, which is no big deal. So I will go get a clock face, send her a picture, finish these up, and we'll be right back. you up to where I'm at. 
So what happened with these extras? This I didn't do anything to except put a silver edge, top coat it with UV resin. Didn't do anything else because I started drilling these out and I couldn't get through with my jewelry drill so I had Don do it with his drill and because the drill heated up the resin so much going through these hard shells that it cracked which meant I had to top coat and back coat these which made them really thick for the jump rings and I don't have the wire to make my own jump rings. 10 millimeter is the biggest that I have. So I had a hard time getting them on. So I did outline it with silver pen and coated both sides. Oh, I put the charm on the wrong side. I could fix that, no problem. So these two did the same thing. He's like, let's just try one more. I'm like, well, I only have two more. So, and this one got drilled, it cracked again. I coated both sides and it was kind of far away for the jump ring, so I added a double 10 millimeter jump ring. I, I uh, outlined it in silver, coated it so that's in forever. But they are very pretty, I love them but you cannot drill through shell. It just doesn't work. So whoever gets this one, I hope you have a good plan for it because there's no, there's no keychain on that one. All right, here is the finished project. I put her last name on the clock in silver and she said I could do, you know, silver trim on it. So I just went along the edge. I didn't fill in the whole entire thing because I didn't want to cover all the shell. So I just went along all the ledges with the silver pen. And I think it came out really, really pretty. I just love these shells underneath resin. So that one is done. Now for these, I have cut out two Merry Christmas, two 2024s. So we're gonna put the 2024 on the back and we're gonna put the Merry Christmas on the front. I don't know if you'll see this, it's silver on silver, but at least it's sparkling silver. Uh-oh, oh no, please tell me I didn't ruin this one. One moment, technical difficulties over here. I'm doing surgery. I have the ceiling fan on. I don't know if that's what did it or if I bumped it, one or the other. I don't wanna to have to cut this out again because I already shut everything down. There we go. It was a successful surgery. Okay, where was I? Let's pull these off. Oh, you know what? It's not even gonna to stick to that powder. Nope. Okay, 2024 is not going to work unless, let me try the other one with, let me pull some off with alcohol. There must be a coating of powder still on here. Oh yeah, look at that. It didn't fully go into my resin. So I've ruined one of my stickers, so only one of them is going to get a 2024. Like I said, I shut it all down. Let me get that dried. Let's see if it'll stick. Yep, and I'm not gonna top coat these or back coat them. I don't think they need it. It's just a Christmas ornament. I don't think they're gonna get that much use, but I will clean off the extra silver powder. Wow, that explains why I have so much on my mold. I probably got some on the front and I'm going to have to re-edge the side. Oh my gosh, I'm just having a hard time here get it off my hands so you can't really see that anyway I mean you can if it's in the uh, the light so let me just wash this one off and then once I get them on I'll go back around with my chrome marker and I cut them out in uh, silver because it goes really good with these I was looking for an image with a 2024 embedded into it, but I didn't like any and they didn't have very many available for some reason. And I couldn't edit the older ones with the other years. They have 2022, but it wouldn't let me edit the, the two to a four. So that didn't work out. This 
This is some pretty strong tape, guys. Here we go. How do you like that? Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. Love the colors. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm just gonna wipe the top. Get it clean from fingerprints. And I will go back around that edge. And this is it for today. Another order down. I still have one more thing to make for Jan. I will do that in the next couple of days. Um, I'm just waiting on an order of resin to come in because it takes 30 ounces and I don't have a ton of resin sitting around for other projects once that one's done. So I'm just gonna redo this. I did go over the top here. Just let it dry really good and you should not have a problem. But it hasn't been that long, so. I put it on the edge of the chisel tip and I just follow the edge and the edge keeps it uh, in order, in place, so you're not getting uneven lines. Just make sure you got paint coming out. You could top coat these if you want to, but like I said, they're really probably not going to get that much use, so I don't think it's necessary. There's that one. Beautiful. And I will do this one one more time. I love these paint pens. They make everything pretty. So I didn't go crazy with rhinestones, as you can tell. Because not everybody likes them. I don't know why. I think that's just strange. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I know, everybody doesn't like the bling. So there we go. That is it, you guys. What do you think? Two different um, images, but still the same. Nice little set there. All right, well, I'm going to get you some final pictures. Thanks for sticking with me for everything. And I will have something fun tomorrow. So I will see you then, everyone. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye.